God, what happened here? There is an enormous hole in the middle of what used to be the homeland of one of the most beautiful and gentle creatures in Minecraft, the humble llama. This is an environmental catastrophe. Oh, let me quickly secure this before I find out what happened. Okay, so I did some digging and I found this video by vidmc. It explains a lot. In this episode, I'm building one of the most destructive redstone machines that Minecraft has ever seen. Is it not enough that the llamas are abused by traders on a daily basis? Now even the wild llamas aren't safe anymore. Am I the only one who is worried about this? I'm going to do a survey with my fellow igniters and see what they think about this situation. I have a question for you. Did you see Bid's big hole? I did. What do you think of it? I think it is very large. It's very large. It's a very, very big, big hole. Do you think any llamas might have been hurt in the making of this? Oh, yeah. There, there is definitely some llamas lost in the okay. hole. Okay. What is your opinion of this big hole? It's quite big. Is it? Um, uh, 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 if, you, if we're talking about <laughs> global impact, environmental factors, what do you think? It's really big. Um, okay. That, that's about all I, that's about all I can say. And do you think any llamas may hole. or may not have been hurt in the making of this hole? It, it's a big hole. If the llamas fell in the big hole, the llamas fell in the big hole. Okay. Did you see Vid's big hole? Uh, I, <laughs> I have seen. I have seen it. Yeah. Do you think that any llamas were hurt in the making of this hole? I certainly hope so. What? What do you mean you hope <laughs> oh, so? Um, no, I, I do not. I do not hope so. <laughs> well, that's it. Something has to be done. Clearly, this is an emergency. We need to save the llamas. So, in this episode, I'm going to build a llama sanctuary. But not just any llama sanctuary. This is going to be the best llama rescue center ever. It's going to be epic. So, I found a really nice location for the llama sanctuary. Llamas love acacia and there's a little beach and this cliff here is just perfect for the background. When I think of llamas, they come from South America. I always think of Peru and Inca, so I think that's where my inspiration is going to come from. Now, I need to get some resources because I have very little money. Yeah, only 10 diamonds. Okay, I need some vines and there's a jungle. Oh, there's a parrot. Oh! Teeds. Come on. God. Yes! I got a parrot. <laughs> I got a perfect parrot pet for the llamas. Amazing. I think Incas did a lot of building in terracotta, so let's get some terracotta. Oh, hang on a minute. Is that a desert temple over there? That's a desert temple. Oh, Ooh, I hope it's not been raided yet because that's... Let's have a... It's got this... Oh! <gasps> People, it's not been raided yet. Oh, I just missed the pressure plate. Oops, a daisy. Okay. Ah, oh, gold. Oh, depth strider. That's handy. What is this? What is it? What is it? What is it? It's something. I just got a. I just dug up an archaeological diamond. That's amazing. There's another diamond. I don't believe this. This is unbelievable. I just I just got the easiest two diamonds in the world. <gasps> Guys, there's another diamond. This is just This is the mother load. Officially, archaeology is cool. Oh my god. Four diamonds, just with a little bit of brushing. That means I'm almost twice as rich as when I started, which is absolutely great because I will definitely need more rockets soon because this messer is miles away. Diggy, 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 Okay, time for time lapse. Now, these llamas should live in style and I will build them a lovely colorful Inca temple. Look, it's even got a water feature and a guardian llama on top to watch over them. So, that was a nice start and next we'll build... Oh, hang on, I just got a message. Apparently, we're having secret Santa on the server. Oh, a Santa sleigh! Wait, what's this? 
secret Santa with a twist? Oh, so you can give them a secret gift or a secret prank. Hmm. Right, let's push this button. See who I have got. Oh, Dano Diggle! Dano! I love Dano. Dano is so nice. But what can I give her? I want something really special for her. So, what do I know about Dano? She is totally slay. She loves caving and she likes... Oh, she likes animals. <gasps> oh, she likes animals. This is perfect. I have the perfect gift idea. So, this is my Santa present delivery service. I'm going to name you Santa's little helper, my llama, and you are going to come with me. I have filled your chests with the present and I'm going to tie you up outside Dano's house and you stay here and wait until Dano gets home. Okay, right. Oh, she'll be so surprised. I think she's going to love her present. I'm going to quickly nip back and do some more work on the Llama Sanctuary. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> present from Santa? Check the chest! Santa's little helper! <laughs> what? Oh my goodness! <gasps> A book! It could be my second diary! Name tags, I always need those. And an anvil! <gasps> How slay! And I've got a llama now! Oh no! Oh no! Dano didn't read the book! She was so happy about the... about the name tags, but that's not the present! Oh my god! I need to go back there and tell her what the real present is! Let's go! Oh, hang on, what's this? Uh, I hear Blackie calling me. Hi Blackie, um... what's up? I, uh, currently, uh, my, my furnaces are all, uh, occupied, um, and I need a bit of sun smelted. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's going in there, it is smelting away, I have coal, he didn't give me any fuel. Oh, dang. There is 46 glass in here, and it's smelting, there's still 46, what? Okay. Also, there's still. What the hell is going on? There's something going on. My oven is broken. It's supposed to go in here and it's not. There's like the same 46 glass in there. That was like, what is? Go Hang on a minute. It's, it's, what, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Let me just dig a hole here. Um, this is roughly where it is. Uh. Ha! What the hell? How? Uh, this is his basement. This is Blackie's basement. I'm coming back. But this has to stop. Oh. Uh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was my secret Santa prank. Well, and present. Um, interesting. I mean, I like the diamonds. But now I better go over to Dano's and sort out that mix-up with her present. Dano! Dibby! Hello! Ah, hello! Now, I was watching your video and I realized that maybe my present wasn't as clear as it should have been because you didn't yeah. read the book, did you? No, I haven't read the book. Do you still have the book? I do still have the uh, book. I will read the okay. book. Dear Dano, a little elf told me you like animals. Mm -hmm, that elf is right. So here is a present that is worth more than diamonds. Ooh, You are now the first official sponsor of the Llama Sanctuary coming soon. <gasps> Ooh, A name plug and statue in your honor will be erected at the sanctuary. And you have adopted the first 16 llamas in the rescue center. As the official llama guardian, you may name your 16 llamas when they arrive in the center. <gasps> That's what the name tags are for. Yes. Okay. So you, you are now <laughs> the first official sponsor of the llama sanctuary. So I was thinking maybe you would like to have a look at the llama sanctuary. I would love well, to. Well, I'm going to take you, but you're going to get a special ride. It's going to take a little bit longer 
but it's gonna be much more epic so if you climb onto the llama because you know you can't steer llamas running along with the llama the llama is following how do you like llama riding comfortable up there i feel like a queen okay amazing you know, i feel amazing. like i'm on my throne you're on your throne yeah okay we'll see your eyes i mean the okay. llama not my eyes are not, not, the, not not you the llama oh. the llama it's oh. a surprise <laughs> the, llama. the llama sanctuary hasn't got a fence yet so we have to tie him up and this Yay. is the llama sanctuary it looks so beautiful what do you think little helper <gasps> wow so <gasps> ah this is the llama temple or the where they live so they have plenty of food there's fresh water in here as well and this is the guardian of the llamas the wow. big cusco uh it's not finished <gasps> yet it's not finished yet or are you I are you happy it. with your llama sanctuary it's it feels you're the dipping i could not be more happy i love it and i think i love the flowing water the it gives like spa vibes yeah that would yes. be so fun we could make a little llama spa and they could be dancing in the water that's so cool yes well, let's let's do that let's do that. yes we have to oh, we, we have, have to. to but first dano helped me rescue a few more llamas from the disaster zone and my own llamas are living here too now so here it is, the Chimalma Lama Sanctuary in all its glory. I even built a spa in honor of our generous donor, Dano Diggle. And I have to say, the llamas love it. I'm very happy with what we've made here, but now we have to find ways of encouraging the igniters to help me save more llamas, because llama abuse is still a thing. We need to rescue as many trader llamas as we can, so they can all come and live a happy life here. And I have some really cool ideas about how to encourage the igniters to rescue llamas for me. But that's in the next episode. Until then, I wish you a hippy-dippy day. Bye-bye. <coughs>